Hey guys, it's Way here. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to bring you guys the first episode in a brand new mini series all about the market and the build up to Black Friday over the next 10 days, with the promo dropping on November the 29th. We always have a big market crash with Black Friday. It's one of the lowest points on the market in the whole year. It's a great time to buy a team at a good price or make investments to make loads and loads of coins. And over the next 10 days, I'm going to be uploading regular episodes in this series, looking at player prices, looking at how they fluctuate, and giving you guys a bit of insight into where. I would personally buy and sell players uh, for different types of cars. I think the prices are going to vary at different times. Right now, for example, SBC fodder 83s, 84s, and 85s are at a real high point because of a lot of SBCs we've recently had, like Team of the Week SBC, Flashback Matter, and a few Road to the Final ones. But we have a lot of meta cars which haven't really dropped down too much and I think can definitely dip in the next couple of days. Now, something to talk about last year. This was the low point, the 19th and 20th, that was the low point on the market. And that's when players were, were really kind of at their absolute bottom price and they started to rise from from now up until the promo and much more afterwards but recently the market has been very stagnant and very dead um, so players haven't really kind of dropped too much I think there's still a lot more room for, for players to dip down people don't seem to be to be as hyped for, for, for Black Friday there's less anticipation just because people seem quite disheartened really with Ultimate Team right now um, I think that's that's the main reason there's less interest in the game um, so there's there's a, a bit less hype I think so we haven't seen that massive scale panic selling that we've seen in previous FIFAs. What I'm going to do is build a concept squad full of meta players. Um, so we're going to then look at these players every single day and kind of see how they fluctuate, see what happens with them. So Ronaldo is going to be one of the players we go with. Also going to go with Lionel Messi. Going to go with all those big meta players um, like Neymar as well. Um, we're going to look at Mbappe. And I'm just going to build a concept squad of these types of cards and then some lower end cards, some special cards as well. And I want to just kind of look at how these cards fluctuate, um, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on their prices um, whenever I upload videos in this series, which is probably going to be every couple of days. I'll try and do them as regularly as possible um, and hopefully help you guys uh, with any kind of queries you do have on the market. Um, so I also want to include maybe some slightly lower end players, someone like Lengley, for example, uh, a very, very meta and popular player this year. Let's go with maybe someone like who's a low end type of card we could possibly go with let's go maybe carl walker that's another one just want to add a mixture of these players in so we can uh, we can obviously keep an eye on them i'm going to go with furlong mendy another kind of slightly lower end card he's a lot lower rated um but still a player with a lot of value so going to be another interesting one you want different types of cards there and this will give kind of different ideas of different types of players and how they're fluctuating let's look at adair militao um with his regular gold card not the road to the final one uh, i do also want to maybe include a couple of road to the final cards so let's go with someone like goretzka who's fairly rare let's add him in uh, right now so we've got this one here which is actually a very very rare card um, then for informs let's go with someone that isn't first team of the week i'm just going to go to special and kind of have a look see what there is someone that isn't first team of the week um, but it's still a really good inform card um, so there is that de bruyne card could possibly go with them um, actually yeah, i'll go with de bruyne as a as a, an inform to keep an eye on um, there's also an aguero there but yeah let's go with de bruyne and then finally um, let's go with an icon. So let's go with someone like Dalgleish, a new icon that's fairly popular. So go with him. Go with that version. So we've now got a main kind of squad of players. I will leave the bench reserves for other players you guys want me to keep an eye on. So comment down below any players that you want me to add to this squad and I'll keep an eye on their prices um, throughout the course of this series. Um, so let's just start off by taking a look at Ronaldo, seeing exactly what he's selling for. Find the lowest buy now for the card. Um, it is a lot different now, the, the, the whole search interface on this game. It's a little bit different to, to last year. Um, so... It may take a little bit more time just to initially kind of get the hang of this. Um, but uh, if we look at Ronaldo, he's going for about 1.2, like what, what about, I think 1.25 million, something about that. Yeah, 1.25 seems to be the lowest kind of buy now you can see for him. Um, the Champions League card going for a fa fairly similar amount. But I expect cards like Ronaldo to drop down more. Um, I think he could get below 1.2. I think uh, you, you'll see that with a lot of these cards. I still think there's an extra kind of 10% um, or so that they can drop down. Just because the panic really hasn't hit yet. It's not like it last year where we didn't have, uh, I don't think, the road to the final promo at the same kind of time. 
Um, I think there was, there was more panic on the market last year. People were really panic selling, getting rid of cards early, and because of that, players dipped in price very early. This year, that hasn't happened as much, and I think there's still a lot more scope for players to drop down. Uh, Messi is about 1.2 million, bang on, just a little bit less than, than Ronaldo, as you can see there. Another player who I expect will drop down a lot more with uh, with people starting to, to kind of panic sell and everything. Also, given he's in the team of the week right now, he'll naturally dip after that. Walker is going for about 40,000 coins, I, I think, maybe a little bit more, maybe like 43, 44. Um, De Bruyne, um, one of those early team of the week cards, um, the, sp the, the regular ones go for about 220, but if we look at the special, looking at the inform, very rare card, um, there's one there for about 5.7, one for, for nearly 600k, and then we've got a few here for around 600 or so. Um, so De Bruyne, very, very high end at the moment. A dare Militao, these types of cards here will drop down a lot. I will take a look at the special card as well quickly. I do actually have one of the one of the specials in my club. Um, and these cards are flying around the road to the finals because they're very heavily invested in. Um, a lot of people have picked these cards up. Um, so they're quite rare. Like Goretzka is insanely rare. There's literally like 10 of them on the market. But yeah, Dare Militao is up to over 600k. And he was like 500, uh, below 500 when he was in packs. Um, so I'm fortunate enough to have one of them, which is pretty good. Uh, Goretzka is probably even rarer, I believe he is, because he was only in packs for like a couple of days. I think it was only two or three days. So Goretzka is super, super rare. In fact, I can't even see a single one on the market right now. Um, and that's what I mean. These cards are really, really heavily invested. So you can see, yeah, there's a few here. They're like 700, 700k or so. So expect these Road to the Final cards to just keep on rising, keep on rising, because right now... Um, there aren't, there's no more supply of them on the market and they're very, very heavily invested in, but they will probably then take a big hit once everyone lists them up, um, probably closer to the time of the, the Champions League um, uh, knockout rounds and everything where those players will actually get upgraded. Uh, Furlong Mendy, very, very low rated card for his price, 80 rated, but he's going for over 20k. This is a type of card I see definitely dropping a lot with Black Friday because he's going to get packed a ton. I think we're going to have less of that uh, kind of crash before the crash this year and more so of a crash when the actual promo starts and all of the all of the packs come out. I think that's when we're mainly going to see like a lot of a lot of players drop down, which is going to be a little bit different to, to what we've had in the past couple of FIFAs. It's going to be more like some of those older FIFAs, I think like FIFA 14 kind of time where there was less less panic and people didn't really know as much about the promo. Uh, Dalglish is about 1.85 million there for the 90 rated card. Um, Mbappe, Mbappe, Neymar, uh, Messi and Ronaldo are probably the four most meta, popular, high end cards on the game. So having a look at them. I think they're all going to fluctuate quite a lot. I think they'll still drop down. Um, you're looking at about 850k right now for Kylian Mbappe. Uh, around 840 to 850 is that low end. Um, we'll see these prices probably fluctuate though over, over the coming episodes in this series. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, fairly similar prices, just a tiny bit more for Neymar. Around about uh, 860k right there. Uh, and then if we go and look at Clement Longley, let's have a look at what he's saying. A bit of a lowering card. He's someone that's dropped down a fair amount. He's down at uh, just uh, just under 50k now, about 48 to uh, to 49k for him. Um, and there we go. That is it for this main squad of players. That if you've got any suggestions, let me know down below for players you would like to see in a, in a new concept squad uh, for these players down on the bench and reserves for me to keep an eye on. Main thing to take away from this though, I think we're not going to have as big a crash as we have had in previous FIFAs. There's less panic, people are more disinterested in the game. I think the main crash we're going to have is going to be a lot closer to the promo with packs, with a lot of supply um, onto the market. We're going to see the low end cars like Adair Militao and Mendy and Longley and Walker, those types of cars just crash because they're going to get packed so so much i think we will still still see cards rise after black friday though for sure because of the injection of coins into the game but i think it's going to be less so than in previous years because there's going to be less coins put in because i think less people are going to be spending money on the game less people are going to be opening packs and obviously less people will then be getting more coins back um, so there's less coins in the game in general to cause those cards to rise up in price so the market crash i think will be more minimal than it has been in the past couple of fifas um everyone knows about 
about it. So it's less um, kind of this huge panic. Everyone has just kind of gradually been selling their cards already um, over the past couple of weeks and getting prepared. A lot of people have been liquid for ages. A lot of people are just trading um, and using the coins they have. So there's less panic. Everyone's kind of quite well prepared for this promo, I think. So it's more just going to be a natural crash that you would expect with an increased supply onto the market from all of the packs, um, obviously causing cards to drop down. I think that's what we're going to see this year. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm yet to really watch any other YouTubers' videos on Black Friday. I will do so just to kind of see what other people are saying. Um, that's my two cents on the topic. I'll be doing another video in a couple of days talking more about Black Friday. Uh, but this is just the first episode in this series looking at some player prices. Uh, we'll see how they change hopefully over the next couple of, uh, of days and weeks. If you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on Black Friday down below. Let me know any other video suggestions as well whilst you're down there. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.